Vario Mobile is the most expensive brand of motorhomes in Europe. Now, there are companies which may produce things as one-offs and uh, all the rest which um, become more expensive. You can find videos on YouTube of the most expensive motorhomes in the world, but, but, but made to order. It, you know, it's very difficult to actually tell and to make uh, a statement that something is but these this company regularly produces it's got a number of vehicles on this stand this one here albatross it's it'll cost 600,000 euros just short in this condition because it depends on various options vario alcoven 900 there's your starting price 410,200 so now let's have a look around the vehicle and I shall tell you a little bit more about it. So it's based on the Mercedes-Benz Atego 1230L. The 12 tells you what the gross vehicle weight is in tons and the 30 tells you how many years you will have to work in order to pay for it. So, as I said, it's 12 tons gross vehicle weight and which, uh, despite the high quality fittings inside, will give you a huge amount of payload. I don't think you're going to have to consider how much you're putting inside, unlike the sort of vehicles which I have to drive. The vehicle has a six cylinder turbocharged diesel engine offering 200 and 20 kW that is 299 horsepower so euro six and has a 300 liter diesel and 35 liter ad blue tank the outer skin is fiberglass reinforced plastic it's nine meters long 253 centimeters wide and has a height of 350 centimeters the water tank is 500 liters gray tank 400 liters and black tank 300 liters as you can see this vehicle has sleeping for two, but as an option, sleeping for two more could be provided. And there are four to six belted positions. One thing you must remember, that these vehicles are built to order. And what you see here is largely only to give you an idea of what you could have. Because when you're paying from 410,200 euros, and in this case 600,000 euros uh, then you can more or less ask for what you want and uh, oh by the way about the price uh, this price actually includes German value-added tax so if it were for export it'd be minus the tax of course you'd have to pay tax in the country you're importing it to uh, as well as duty and transport now, the chassis is equipped with air suspension with lifting and lowering. It is an eight speed automatic gearbox and high performance engine brake, which I think means that when you press the brake, the vehicle stops eventually. It's got an LED light package at the front, including white indicators and LED daytime running lights. Ah, and LED tail lights as well. The steering wheel is a leather multifunction one, so you can do all sorts of things with it, including turning it when you want the vehicle to turn. There's air conditioning in the driving compartment, it's got cruise control, electric windows, it comes with the Atego safety package, which includes active brake assist, which I mentioned earlier. Um, for those of you who would probably feel a bit uh, unsafe about driving something this big, unless of course you're a lorry driver, there's 360 degrees all round camera system which comes with a 7 inch monitor, 4 HD cameras and all sorts of other stuff which uh, should uh, enable you to drive uh, w safely and without worrying too much. There's even a camera that can be attached to a uh, trailer if you want to, if there's not enough room in this vehicle to take all your stuff with you. It comes with four hydraulic supports. They're double acting cylinders, so fully automatic, but you can use them manual emergency, manual operation, should that be necessary. This is because you are never uh, 
nobody ever in the history of camping has found a, a flat place to park so that will keep your vehicle at least relatively flat there's a six meter Dometic awning on the outside that comes out using uh, 12 volts it's also a wind sensor with it as you can see the interior is in satin white which is combined with uh, oak real wood veneer and there's leather upholstery in the living room in the kitchen we find a 177 liter AES refrigerator 35 liters of which is a freezer compartment also comes with a fan oven from Miela a stainless steel sink measuring 40 by 41 by 20 centimeters from Franke and there's a dishwasher from Fisher & Paykel there's also a washer dryer you can wash 5 kilos of your stuff or dry 200, uh, sorry, uh, 2.5 kilos of clothing that operates up 230 volts in the bathroom there's also a real glass water circle shower and this is the open version bathroom for multimedia well if you're going to get bored with this van it comes with two televisions or the options to have two televisions one's 32 inches and the other one's 24 led stereo it's got all the, all the works on the roof there is an 85 centimeter parabolic antenna it's got full automatic alignment and uh, all of it and there's some pretty flash audio stuff inside as well for speaker subwoofer and uh, all the rest now you're probably thinking that this is going to take a fair bit to power and uh, well yes it will do and thanks to that uh, because of that I should say uh, 320 volts of solar are on the roof so you've got a charge controller Victron Quattro 5000 charger sine wave si sorry sine wave uh, inverter combination and uh, all sorts of other things but the batteries which is probably uh, what you're interested in they've got five gel batteries of 170 ampere hours each so that's five times 170 is 850 ampere hours uh, there's LED lighting throughout uh, which will, won't make much an impact on that uh, battery. Uh, what about uh, heat and cold? Well, there's a, a Dometic Fresh Jet 3200 roof air conditioning system and that uses 230 volts and has a cooling output of 2.8 kilowatts. Uh, Alternatively, you could go for the Truma Sapphire Compact that also works on 230 volts, cooling up at 1.8 kilowatts, and it's integrated into the furniture construction. Alternatively, you could have both of them if you wanted to, couldn't you? There is also Aldi Compact 3020 Hot Water Gas Central Heating Integrated Boiler, which is 8.4 litres. It's got heating output of 5.5. Uh, kilowatts if you're using propane or 6.4 if you're using butane uh, one day I think I need to do a video on the differences between various forms of LPG um, it's got also electric heating uh, going up to 2.1 kilowatts should that be necessary an interesting feature is uh, there's an engine heat exchanger which allows you to actually keep the place uh, warm as you are traveling in winter there's also underfloor heating in the living room with thermostatic control each individual room of the three of them does have separate uh, heating controls There's a garage uh, which is quite quite good there you've got two gas bottles uh, which uh, can pull out it's a, a du Truma dual control connection for them also in the garage there is a slidey out thing for electric 
bikes. So that's a quick overview of this vehicle. I hope you found that of interest. And uh, if you did, then you might want to subscribe. But if you found it boring, then you probably uh, won't want to subscribe. And indeed, I would have to ask, how come you've managed to get this far? Thanks for watching.